What's up guys, welcome back to the aftermarket. So, you might have noticed in my last video, I had the hood open sensor warning, and I currently don't, so this took about a week to fix. Um, I had actually ordered a new latch, uh, shout out to FCP Euro. They have a great selection of OEM parts, always come in clutch if you need things like that. Um, but I ended up not needing it, so I want to talk about how I fixed it. I see a ton of searches online for this, and there's really no clear solution on how to fix this. And this really isn't just for the F22 or the M240i, because this latch system is used across pretty much like every F chassis vehicle and a bunch of other chassis uh, in this time frame as well. So my buddy Anthony is over here. We're going to talk about kind of what we figured out and how we fixed it. And it's a much more simple solution than you might think. So let's go ahead and move out there. Alright guys, here we are. What's up Anthony? How's it going? Some of you guys might remember Anthony from the F-150 video. He's helped me with some other installs as well. Um, so what we had originally tried with this latch, with the carbon hood, the latch had actually got stuck. I did mention that. And what we had originally tried was basically messing with the latch. We tried pulling, can you just shine your light in here? Yep. We tried pulling um, this fuse right here, this sensor, um, which is what we ended up basically figuring out was the solution. Yeah, that's a better way to show it. Um, so yeah, Anthony, you wanna just talk about like kind of what we figured out and how we ended up fixing it? Yeah, basically, so there's on this latch, on the driver's side latch for the hood, there's a yeah. proximity sensor. Hold on one second, let me turn off the engine. <laughs> we got a little engine noise going on. Sorry about that, guys. This will make it a lot easier to hear. All right, go ahead. Okay, so basically on a driver's side latch, there's a proximity sensor back here. Um, I figured that the proc sensor was, was it, it was causing the issue because really there's no other sensors around the hood. And basically this tells the hood whether the latch uh, is closed and engaged with the hood latch up here. Yeah, it's just a little micro switch. Yeah, so basically it's a proc sensor. It, it disrupts the magnetic field and it tells the circuit if it's open or closed. So when the hood's closed, it completes the circuit and tells the car, okay, the hood's closed. But the sensor was failing, so what I did was um, I cut the wire from the sensor back here. You could see it. These wires lead to the micro switch, which is back here. Those wires wrap around and connect into this side. Um, do not cut anything from this sensor this way because this belongs to the harness for the car. Um, that's a pain to replace, you know. If you end up replacing this sensor, it's, it's from here this way. But what I, what I ended up doing is I cut here. These are the original wires that go to that uh, sensor. What I did was I installed a 7.5 kilo ohm resistor to the circuit, so basically it's uh, faking the uh, the proc sensor and it's telling the hood that it's closed. So whether your hood is open or closed, you know, the resistor is here and the computer recognizes it as, okay, the hood's closed. That's basically it. It's a really simple fix. There's only two wires. All right. So, yeah, I mean, I had actually on my own tried a bunch of different levels of resistors. It didn't work. Um, and then Anthony came out, helped me. We tried literally probably four or five different. We decided to really up the uh, level of resistor that we use. And yes, yeah, 7.5K did it. So there's another video that's in Arabic on YouTube about this issue. And he literally says in the video, I don't know what resistor I'm using. And he doubles them up and it ends up working. I was so frustrated by that. So that's why I decided to make this video. Hopefully it helps some of you guys um, because it seems like all types of BMWs are having this issue. So this came from me having the carbon hood. Um, and some issues with that, but if you ever come across this and you really don't need BMW to tell you whether your hood is open, that's your fix. Thanks guys, subscribe and like, thanks.